There you are. Welcome to the presentation of the Bachelor Program in Gastronomic Science. Today, we're going to discuss uh, more about uh, the program, the opportunities that it provides, and uh, actually what uh, you can uh, learn uh, in uh, these uh, three year programs in Gastronomic Science. So, this is an undergraduate degree and offer you a first approach to the fantastic world of food and food culture. The Gastro University of Gastronomic Science was uh, the first university uh, in Italy and in most of the world offering a bachelor program in gastronomic science. What is gastronomic science, first of all? When we talk about gastronomic science, we are referring to all the knowledge concerning the production, distribution, and consumption of food, and of course, also beverage. This pro program was initially launched in 2004, and a new program was uh, uh, launched just three years ago, and uh, uh, it was a revision of uh, the first uh, program, and uh, expansion and uh, a better version. So. This is uh, our program, uh, the program in gastronomic science and culture. Uh, it's uh, a three year degree and uh, has a, a gap number of 104 students max. What are the objectives? Well, uh, as you can imagine, the main objective of uh, our course is to provide you the opportunity to approach which, uh, uh, to approach the world of uh, food, food production, and um, all the knowledge needed, not just uh, to learn how to cook, uh, indeed, but rather to understand better uh, food as uh, a piece of uh, culture, and uh, uh, offering you, though, um, a cultural and sensorial education um, concerning food and beverage, to learn more about producers, production, consumption, and why food is so important in the global north as well as in the global south. So uh, we approach uh, this teaching, not just the uh, lecturing, but uh, with a full engagement also with your senses, through classroom, through workshop, through, uh, first of all, meeting with the producers and consumer in class and around the world during our study trips. What we want to provide you is a, uh, a full and blooming experience that make you a gastronome. Who is the gastronome? The gastronome is the person, the professional, that is able to influence the global food system, not just as a campaigner, uh, but also as a professional employed in the food sector. We want to provide you with all the tools needed to work towards sustainability and food sovereignty. So that actually that you can uh, work and contribute to create a more sustainable future and promote quality food and its value. This is actually the core and the, the core teaching and core lesson of our program. So let's look more into the detail. As I, said, as I told you, it's a, a three year uh, degree. So if you uh, are accepted in uh, our university, you're going to stay in Polenzo, in, Bra, in Italy for three years. During these three years, you're going to be engaged in uh, six, 17 courses, or each one module, and plus other three elective courses. Overall, there are eight, uh, 180 um, formative credits we provide, university uh, formative credits we provide. Sorry, could you please switch off uh, the mic? Matthew, again. Thank you. So, language. Language, uh, uh, we, have, we are bilingual. We speak uh, English and we speak Italian. 
During your first year, you're engaged in class that are all in English. Starting from the second year, you're going to start classes that are taught in uh, Italian and in English. Of course, we are going to provide you with uh, the possibility of attending class, language class, to get uh, substantial Italian. And you are going to be in Italy, by the way. So you're going to be uh, facing a full opportunity of engaging with uh, the country and learning by doing this uh, other language. Don't be afraid. We had experience with students from all around the world, over 160 um, countries. Um, people came in Polenzo and were able to learn a bit of Italian. Or I have to say, I every year I'm surprised by my students that are becoming fluent in Italian. And sometimes they are really, they look like native speakers. The classes are going to start on the 21st of September this year and i'll continue uh, throughout the year you're gonna have classes uh, from september late september till uh, june uh, so let's look at uh, the main or better the courses that you're gonna uh, attend during the first year as you can see uh, this is not uh, a degree just uh, in uh, art science and is not a um, degree or a program just in uh, humanities we want to provide you with all the knowledge concerning hard science humans uh, humanistic and uh, so, uh, social sciences because to be a gastronom you need all the knowledge coming from the different sector because you have to understand in one end why protein for example are so important for the human body but the other hand, you have to understand uh, why food is a ritual tool for many uh, cultures in the world. What is a food taboo? Or uh, what is the history of food? Why you have that kind of food on your table? So uh, you're going to start with classes of ecology, chemistry, politics, as well as anthropology and history. During the uh, starting from the first year, as I told you, you're gonna attend uh, classes that are, of course, in uh, of language to improve your language skill in Italian. If you are not mother speaker, Italian mother speaker, or in English, if you are Italian mother speaker. During the second year, we go forward in uh, our education, and we actually look at uh, what other culture, sociology, history and the making so the, the making of food through uh, design and through technology finally we enter in the third year when uh, we gonna deep into health economy philosophy to complete your uh, education and uh, above all we very proud to have also the opportunity we provide you the opportunity to conduct independent research in the field of food studies during the third year because we really believe that uh, to complete a thesis uh, during the last year is a good way for you to engage fully with your knowledge the knowledge you acquire during the three years and above all to uh, start understanding what to be a professional means. When we speak about electric courses, we are talking about uh, not compulsory module as the other that you have seen before, but uh, module that you can choose every year. And the module encompasses very different uh, themes. Here you have a selection of the module we had this year concerning, for example, uh, food activism, uh, agrobiodiversity, uh, storytelling, and all these kind of uh, knowledge and skills that are good to become around a full-fledged gastronom. So, there are three sessional exams. So every year you have the opportunity to, uh, um, at the end of uh, 
the module I, at the end of that term to have your exams. You have to, uh, intend, uh, to wait until the end of the year as it happens in other university, but just at the end of the term, you can en uh, engage with the subject and do the exam. We have five sessions, two in January, so just after Michaelmas, the first term, and two sessions uh, in June, early July, uh, so after the second term, we have just two semesters, okay? We run on a, a two-semester system, not a three terms, as, for example, in U.S. and other university. So, finally, uh, you can complete your exam in September, after summer. You had two months uh, of rest and preparation, and then you, you come back in uh, September and you can attend the exams. So, uh, I didn't say one thing uh, before. In all the, uh, in all the uh, slides concerning the, the previous the three years of the program, you have seen uh, study trips. This is one of our points of strength. What is a study trip? Of course, a visit is the occasion, the opportunity for you to visit a, a terroir, a place where food culture is particularly strong and interesting to understand better what is food in the world during the three years uh, you're gonna in, uh, you're gonna start this travel that uh, take you in italy in europe and the world of course this is a, a beautiful opportunity and it's quite unique in our university other universities can provide you with food studies courses or programs but they generally tend take you just in the classroom we want to take you in the world of food. So we're going to take you in a different terroir. We're going to take you uh, where? In the workshop, in the firms, in the markets, so that actually you can expand your knowledge, of course, with touching directly the reality of food. I can say we provide you an original education model, something quite unique, innovative in contents, in methods, and in particular, in this combination of knowledge coming from different sectors and the combination between traditional lectures and interactive courses. We, uh, of course, offer you advanced teaching tools uh, online, inside, uh, linked with different and innovative methodologies of uh, teaching that are starting from more traditional lecturing to uh, group work presentation to debate you, uh, games and a full i mean full-fledged educational model you're gonna have again the opportunity of meeting producer and expert during all the year in your classroom and above all in during our seminar and conference that every week we run or we run in the past and offered the opportunity of meeting experts from all around the world and the producer from all around the world inside in Polenzo. These are just images to uh, make you understand the environment, the vibe of our community. Uh, we are very proud of calling ourselves a community. This is not just a matter of words. We really believe that uh, we students, professor, and uh, member of the staffs work together and make Polenzo a great environment and grave opportunity to what to improve the knowledge the collective knowledge about food and create a new generation of uh, people that can really make the change in the food system in global food system well now i have to say we are proud of what uh, the job we do and we are very proud of our students uh, we are proud because uh, over 60 percent of our students after the the third year get a job it's a really high standard compared with the Italian uh, national level that it says that just, it's just one over three. We, it's two over three. Find a job in, this, uh, in the sector. And we'll see uh, in what, uh, what are the profiles of our students in, in the work, uh, in the job market. Of course, being successful in finding a job, our stats concerning uh, who is continuing the studies is a little bit lower than the rest of uh, the country. Uh, why? Because actually, you already have an opportunity to get to be a professional. And our students, at the end of the, the, the third year, 
if they want continue, most of the time they continue also abroad. They are, are accepted by prestigious uh, international institution to continue their study in the food of uh, in the field of food and food studies. So it's uh, it's quite rare in the case of uh, Italy, uh, but I can tell you, if you come to Palenzo, Palenzo is, can be a first step toward international career in uh, in the food system in the food studies. As I told you, our students are so successful. They, most of them, work in the food sector, and, but with very different jobs. Large part of them are working in management uh, and management of companies, food companies, restaurants, uh, hotels. Um, they are management. Uh, they are managers, but they are also experts in the sale and purchasing, communication, uh, and this is actually the core business also of communication and R&D. So you can see, uh, we at the end of the three years, if you want to join us, you're going to have quite an opportunity of uh, being a protagonist in the food sector, actually exploring the sector, or better, uh, that part of the, the food sector that you like most. If you want to uh, become a a journalist, there are opportunities. If you want to look into the actually the products and how to develop new products, there are opportunities. If you want to be a protagonist of the new cons and the new design of restaurants or hotels, look, there is space for you. So take, uh, think about that. So let's look at the profiles of our students when they enter into the job market. One uh, fundamental uh, area of uh, work is uh, to be expert in high quality products. So the, uh, our students are brand ambassador, food journalists, social media expert, event organizers. I give you a couple of examples. Antonella Piscitello, for example, is uh, the social media manager of Alice and Co. That is an uh, um, emerging. Uh, craft beer distributors around the world. And uh, Margherita Bacci instead is working uh, as a marketing analyst and a man uh, marketing and management in Vellier. Vellier is uh, one of the key uh, wine and spirit distributor in Italy and the South of Europe. So uh, the, these girls, we are very proud of them. After three years, they got an internship in uh, these um, firms and they were able to well excel and be actually one member of the team and uh, start their career besides to be expert of high quality products our students are of uh, are working in um, improving the agri food system and its governance is there the role of uh, being a consultant for uh, uh, public and private uh, institution, uh, in particular looking at uh, how to develop better policy and better practice to make the food system uh, the best. So we are not surprised to see, for example, uh, people like Valentina Gritti working with NGOs as an organizer of events, creating communities, creating communities around the world. Uh, thanks to Slow Food Youth Network. She's based in the Netherlands, uh, and, uh, but she is organizing events across the world. Tessa, instead, she's working for an uh, association of uh, farmers and uh, uh, sellers of organic pro uh, products. So, again, as you can see, you can, uh, a member of an organization uh, that is supporting the food system. So we said expert of high quality products, expert uh, of uh, um, policy and a consultant for institution. This is not just what they do, uh, our students do. Actually, they do also another important role in the market that is actually being an expert in business sale food. They are food buyers, they are working in trading commercial agents, they are 
import and export manager. Uh, you see the slide junior, yes, of course, because after a um, three years uh, program and bachelor, you're gonna start your career as a junior, but trust me, in a few years, you're gonna be a senior and very respect, uh, respected professional. This is the case, for example, of uh, Andrea San Giovanni and Nicola Villa. Different uh, uh, stories, but both of them uh, get out from our university just a few years ago and were able to become members of uh, good companies, emerging company, linked with the B2B sector like Noberasco or in, uh, in the uh, supply chain like Deliver, uh, Deliveristo. So, this is some of the perspective you have when you finish the program, but it's not finished. Of course, there is the hospitality, uh, restaurant, and catering sector. Many of our students go there. Why? Because of the love of food, the idea of uh, actually transform the restaurant sector and the hospitality sector. Their manager, their stock manager, uh, they ref, uh, transform all the, um, the system of hospitality. I'm their chef and maître. Two important examples of uh, this kind of career are provided by Giulio Camillo Quintero Marjan and Chiara Pisano. Juan, uh, he was uh, a student of mine a few years ago. He was uh, was uh, coming from South America, uh, he fell in love uh, with Italy and uh, decided to continue his experience uh, as a chef. He became an executive chef in you know, one really interesting relay in Chianti area in Tuscany, uh, Borgo San Felice. So he is one of the emerging chefs uh, and got many prizes for his work. While Chiara Pisano is working in Pedevilla and is working more in the food chain, how to transform a food chain in the, in the business to be more efficient and more innovative. This is a fundamental role in the consultancy job. Finally, of course, as we said, you definitely con can continue with your education in our institution with our master program, two years, one year program, but uh, also in our institution. Uh, and as I told you before, many of our students continue this experience in a foreign institution. This is the case of Matteo Rognoni, who continued in Netherlands in Wageningen, uh, while uh, uh, Francesca Montigone continued his education a few years ago in, uh, in England. And uh, after graduated, uh, she got uh, a position of postdoc uh, uh, research at the University of Bologna. So it's not just about the uh, possibility of uh, finding a job as a professional, but also if you want, if you really, uh, you feel that actually education is your field, you can continue. We provide you with the knowledge to stand out to the crowd. So, uh, I leave the floor to uh, uh, Ms. Fogliotti for further information concerning the admission process. Thank you very much. Um, hi, everybody. My name is Elena Fogliotti. I am in charge of the registrar's office. Uh, so you can refer to um, me or my colleague Charles Wolinski for uh, international candidatures. Admission process for the uh, undergraduate program uh, be began on February and will end in August uh, 27. So you have time until August 27 to complete your online, online enrollment. I would like to specify that for international candidates, we offer uh, online uh, admission application and admission, uh, admission process. Uh, the admission test for all the candidates consists of uh, the dossier online, which is composed by some documents uh, uh, well specified in our modalities of uh, admission, an English uh, uh, written and oral test, and a final interview. We have a principal requisite to 
assess uh, the admission test, which is the possession of a secondary high school diploma or equivalent. Um, I can understand, uh, uh, I am uh, speaking very quickly, so after this short presentation, I will be pleased to respond to any question or other information. Concerning uh, the scholarship, uh, we, it is important to underline that uh, we have, uh, uh, we give the possibility to uh, apply for total or partial exemption from the payment of university fees for all our international students. I invite you to consult our website in the section dedicated to the scholarship application process. Um, I would like to underline that uh, uh, income and the merit requirements are necessary for requesting a university fee exemption, exception, exemption, sorry, and they are all specified in the relevant scholarship announcement I uh, to told about, I talked about, uh, uh, I above mentioned, and we, we publish them on our university website. So in the pages dedicated to the undergraduate program, you can find all the public announcements for the request of a scholarship, partial or total. The university makes a certain number of places available in UNIS student housing annually as determined by the university executive committee exclusively for students who are already beneficiaries of total university fee exemption and are regularly enrolled in the first year of the program and who meet the minimum economic requirements as defined in the relevant scholarship announcement mentioned before. Italian students, okay, this is not for international candidates, so sorry. Uh, that's all regarding admission process and scholarship opportunities. I would like to spend a word about costs and services. University fee for 2020-2021 uh, uh, academic year is 1,500 uh, euros and include all educational activities, including lectures, tasting, seminars, test book, and books and out. The thematic and territorial trips provided by uh, the study plan, participation in all events promoted by the University of Gastronomic Sciences as slow food, like slow fish, uh, cheese, or uh, terra madre and salone del gusto. Uh, then we include insurance coverage for civil liability of students, health coverage, emergency insurance policy for students with non-EU, with non-EU citizenship, and 400 credits uh, uh, preloaded on the academic tables, university dining hall meal card, access to the career services office, placement specialized in food and wine. Then enrollment certificate, official transcript, receipt of payment and all international legalization of diploma for non-Italian students, including mailing fees. This is uh, what we include in our uh, annual fee. Thank you very much. Thank you, Elena. Uh, I open the floor to questions, uh, if you have. If you have any question, uh, feel free to do it. I mean, or ask him for parole or uh, write in the chat. Uh, Elena, um, and they are asking if we have an uh, actual office uh, for helping students to find a place. A, an apartment or, sorry, okay, after, after admission. Yes, we have, we can give some assistance 
Actually, uh, students are requested to find uh, um, by themselves uh, a flat, an apartment, but we can give a good assistance thanks to our, we have a go good contacts, contacts in BRA, uh, owners, real estate agencies. So we can, we can help you and uh, we will be pleased to do that, of course. Any other question? Yes, Diego, please. Salve, yes. Uh, so I would I wanted to ask uh, uh, maybe Elena if uh, she could maybe write her email address over there so I can reach her later on. I am um, about the scholarships and uh, of course. because. Thank you, because last year I was actually given a scholarship and then it was uh, taken from me from a very specific uh, situation that we had in between that I would understand was actually a misunderstanding. So maybe I could address that situation later, because this university is my dream <laughs> under all concepts of okay. anything. <laughs> um, I invite you to write me to Segreteria at unisg.it okay so i have that one yeah in particular my colleague called manuela barra okay yeah i've, I've, I've actually chatted with her yeah. okay I, yes yes of course she is the right person to give you all the information for to complete the application process for to obtain a scholarship okay so and uh do not hesitate yeah, I, I to write out can I also call? Sorry to interrupt you. Can I also call? And we will we will be happy to give you all the information regarding yeah. how to apply for a scholarship. Please mind that to start the application process for a scholarship, you must be an applicant. Okay? Yes. So you apply to the course. I remember that application process is free and non binding and non binding and then you can start your application process. After, first of all, I invite you to read very carefully all the pages on our website dedicated to the scholarship, okay? Because you will find a lot of information, of good information, and then you can write and ask uh, uh, what you what you what you need to do what you need to know or you didn't understand well okay yes thank you You're very welcome so we have three questions i start from uh, lucelina uh, every year at the beginning of the year uh, you uh, are going to be presented the, the different elective courses we are offering so you're going to be um, invited to a conference where all the professors that are um, giving a module, elective module, present their module, and then you have some weeks to decide and to communicate to the student office what is your choice and the best on taste. Uh, and then uh, you have a choice. One only, one on, uh, just one model is uh, going to be on your uh, your um curriculum but you can also attend as a auditor as a visitor the other uh, elective module so it's quite uh, open uh, the possibility of uh, improving and uh, enlarging your knowledge about the, um, the start um so the only few um elective courses just to finish have uh, uh, limited places uh, these are mostly concerning testing the other are quite open to the participation of the students. Um, Dax, uh, you are asking for how to connect with former students. I would definitely suggest you to look at, first of all, at the page of our site, I mean, our site, our page of university online, because uh, you're going to see many activities are going on in terms of uh, presentation and conference given by our students. The same you can find online on Facebook. So this is a first way to get approach to understand who are the, uh, the students, our alumni, and then uh, to have more contacts with them. 
Alex, uh, Andrea, sorry. Uh, yes, actually, you're going to start at the beginning. We assess your level. If your uh, level of English is a C1 or more, uh, you're not going to be at, uh, asked to attend, of course, uh, a, a class. But if you is not that level, uh, your first, uh, um, sorry, you started with English, sorry. Uh, I can send my answer, I give you a, the, the other answer. If English is uh, provided generally for Italians or people that are Italian mother speaker, while uh, all uh, the, the other people are asked to attend, uh, the foreigners are attend an Italian uh, language skill uh, program. So you will be taught Italian rather than English during the, um, the next uh, years. Walter, um, okay. Um, Walter, uh, you are asking about uh, chemistry and biology. This is uh, just uh, uh, one uh, leg of our program, uh, but uh, there is is also good to have a knowledge of history of culture uh, connected with food. So, if you are really interested in chemistry and biology, of, yes, of course, it's good that uh, uh, you go deep into that subject. But during the three years, you're gonna um, you're gonna be uh, asked uh, also to study other disciplines. Um, Um, Elena, uh, Lauren is asking about uh, uh, Italian proficiency test. Uh, um, you can find uh, in the chat if you can give uh, more information about uh, this part. And uh, the yeah, yeah. Uh, for native English speaker, um, we will recommend to start studying Italian language because it will be very useful for you as once you arrive uh, in Italy. But we don't require a very high level of Italian because, as Professor Fonte Francesco mentioned, you will have uh, an, a, an English, uh, sorry, <laughs> an Italian course in our in your study plan during the first year, and uh, attendance will be compulsory and also a good evaluation of this uh, of this course during the first year. Um, so we recommend to start studying and we, we can accept A1, A2 level is okay, is okay. Most part of international students arrive with a, a low level of Italian. Some of them, if not, not a very high number, speak currently Italian, but it is not, they, they are exceptions. So don't mind if you, if your Italian is not so not so good or it is poor you can start studying it and once you arrive here you will have all the instruments all the tools to improve it okay, okay. so uh, uh, going back uh, to the other question Dax, uh, it depends on the years uh, i can tell you that uh, uh, the rate changes every year uh, but the competition is actually yeah. a competition so uh, don't think that uh, everybody can apply and enter. So don't, there is a quite a, a open competition. And uh, we have to say that uh, about 40% of our students every year are not Italian. So it is an co international competition. Lily, um, you are talking about uh, Erasmus. Uh, uh, actually, there, at the moment, uh, we don't offer uh, uh, student mobility project, uh, but rather we have many opportunity of engaging uh, people uh, from uh, different uh, institutions uh, during uh, the events and during the study trip. So you you are not gonna miss uh, the international aspect uh, of the university. Uh, as I said uh, to Rome, uh, yes, uh, the Italian classes start from the first year and and take you until the end of uh, your curriculum. Um, and uh, uh, Valeria, you can uh, check online on the site uh, for yeah. what earn uh, uh, scholarship in general for Italians and uh, foreigners. Any other question, guys? Okay. 
if uh, uh, no more question there thank you all please write to secretariat unisg for any kind of information you can also contact me uh, to my uh, to my email and uh, uh, it's m dot ponte francesco at unisg dot it you're gonna find my profile on the site of the union so please if you have any kind of further question just write us okay thank you again and um see you soon okay thank you very much grazie a tutti thank you very much for Good your night. participation thank you bye